my youtube friends welcome to this exciting lesson in revit and lumion in this lesson i just want to teach you how you can prepare the model before export it to lumion and you know i just want to teach those who find it difficult when you take your model to lumion start experiencing some issues as you apply your materials and you later on you're going to see that you can't really control the application of the materials in lumion in terms of which surfaces you have to apply it so i want to show you in this video i'm going i want to do this lesson because because I asked my viewers to comment on one of the videos, I think I will link it here, where I showed you like how you export from Revit to Lumion in readiness for, you know, for application of materials and rendering. So people commented and this is what I want to do. So you can see this is the model what we have and I also have Lumion right here. So we'll come back here in just in a moment so now i want to ask all of you please if you like what i'm doing on this channel don't just watch my videos that way you are not helping my channel grow because if you help my channel grow it means that i'll be motivated more and more so make sure that you like the video and you know subscribe now let me not waste time let's get started in this lesson So as you can see, this is the model that we have. Now, before I proceed, if there's anyone who'd like to learn Revit architecture, Revit structure and robot structure analysis in a course, please check the links in the description. Okay, so you can see that this is Revit and this is the model that you want to work on. I'll just export it the way it is and later on, I'll show you the issues that you need to fix and I'll, you'll see how to fix it. So now in, in, in Lumion or in Revit, you need to have the Lumion tab here as you can, the Lumion tool here. And these are the tools that you are going to, to, to use. Okay. So if you don't have this, you just have to go to Google and I have Google, I've opened here and just search for maybe uh, Revit to Lumion. You just need to go to the Lumion website and this is free. You just need to click on the download link. Now, depending on when you are going to watch this video, it might look different, but the, the live sync, this, you know, adding is free. I'm sure even if it changes in future, I don't know. Anyway, it's some years from now, but for now and some years to come, it's still free. You can just click there, download it, install it, and be good to go. So once you install it, you see that you're going to have Lumion. And from here now, we have, you know, the live sync. We'll talk about the live sync later on. We have the live sync settings. When you click there, you can just check the settings here, which is okay. I think the default settings are okay. I'll click on okay. Then you can click on export and click on export once again. And now you can save your file wherever you want to, to save it. So I'll save it there. And that is the name with a collider file and click on save. So we are done here. Now we need to go to Lumion and bring in you know, this Revit model to Lumion. I'll just go to Lumion by just double clicking. I was able to open it like this. No, actually, when you just open it, let me go back. What The window that you are going to see is this one. All right. So once you open your Lumion, again, this is Lumion 11. If you have a different version, it may look different. So from here, you just need to click on new. And these are the templates that you have. If you have a different version, you may have different templates here, but still the same. I'll use this template, uh, create tropical environment. With this template, we have some, you know, vegetation and some trees already loaded there. If you want a blank one, you can use this one or even that one and you can start doing whatever. But we are going to use this template and let's see what we have before we bring in our model. So this is Lumion. As you can see now, I'm just using my wheel, so I will not be referring to what I'm doing, but I want to explain that for those beginners, I'm just zooming in and out using a wheel on my mouse. If I want just to pan this one, hold the right mouse and I'm able to pan it like that. This is the right, right mouse button. Okay. Now, if I want to orbit, I just press O on my keyboard and holding O and, you know, the right mouse button and I'm able to rotate like that, orbit or rotating, you know, this is so flexible as you can see. All right. Now, if I want to bring in that model, I just need to go to import. Just click on import and you see that this is where I saved it. Just click on it and open. All right. So I just need to change the name just like that because I, I brought it here at some point. Then once you just change, once you just change the name, just click on finish there. And let's wait for it. As you can see, we have our model. Now I'm just moving my mouse there. I haven't clicked anything. I can use my wheel there to zoom in and out. And maybe I want my model to be right here. I think it's okay where it is, but if I want to orbit, I can hold R and now I'm able to move it like that. If I want to place it in a particular position, maybe I want it to be here. I can, you know, release my R and 
I can just click once like that. And you see that I've clicked my model. So don't click again because you have to, you are going to have, you know, another model. So what you need to do, just go there on select and click. Then you just have just that particular model. Now, if I come here, all right, if I come here, you see that, let me hold letter O and just hold it like that. It's still under the ground there. I just need to click move up and down there and put the cursor there and hold my left mouse button and drag it up. As you can see, I can drag up to somewhere there. I think I'm okay. Then let me just try to counter check it. I think I'm okay with how the model is. If I want to move it like maybe horizontally, I can click there, put the cursor there and, uh, and I can simply, you know, move it maybe this side and I want it to be right there. All right. So I have it here. Now I want to explain something in terms of preparation of the materials. So to add the materials, you just need to go there under the materials, click once. Okay. Once you click there, now you have to go to the face where you want to apply the materials. Now you notice that I didn't separate the materials. So in Revit, you have to, or any other modeling software, you have to separate the faces you know, depending on where, which materials you want to apply on those particular faces. So I didn't separate some of the faces. You see that everything highlights. If I click on it and let me try to add some materials, maybe under outdoor, if I put maybe that one there, you see that the materials will be applied everywhere. So if you see something like this, don't worry. You just need to go back to Revit and prepare the materials, the surfaces, and this is what we are going to do. So I'll switch back to Revit. We are right here. And what I want to do now is first of all to turn on the, you know, the live sync so that once I start making those changes, I can, you know, it, it will easily update in Lumion. So I'll just turn on the live sync there. Okay, I'm right here. And let me orbit like this. And I'll go to, if I want, if, for example, I want to separate the materials for this one, I can select on it go to edit and I can change the materials under this one. But the simplest way is just to paint the materials. That one is very, very flexible. So I'll go to, I think, modify. And you see that we have the paint tool. Click on it. Now, if you want to pick the actual materials, okay, to use here, you can do that. For example, if I want to use this one for my roof, you know, those tiles, I can pick the stuff, the faces. Oh, I think that's the one that I already picked. It's already applied. Let me try once again. All right. Okay, it's okay. So now I'll go to this one. For example, I want to have the wood on this one. I'll just pick a different material. Then I'll pick the actual materials in Revy. I mean, in Lumion, if it's wood, I'll do that. So I'll just click on this one and pick the surface. I think that's the wood I want. Now I can also pick the faces, all these edges, so that I can have a uniform material for wood. Okay, I can click there. Just try to orbit. So I'm just using the paint just like that. And I'll leave it like that. Now I also have to separate the seating there. I'll pick a different material. Any of the materials doesn't matter. And I'll pick inside there so that I can apply this material separate. Click inside. Okay. Now what else? I also need to put a different material for, you know, the bulk on there. I can maybe let me pick this one here or even this one. And let me just pick this one here and maybe this surface so that yeah, is it this one okay and this one the two surfaces and you have to make sure that you pick all those surfaces if you miss it you'll be able to notice it in Lumion and you can still come back and do that so this is how you're going to prepare all those surfaces so that once you start applying materials it looks should look fine all right is there anything that i've left i think i'm okay with what i have now this one i think the dark one Okay, anyway, you can still do that. You've seen the whole idea. Make sure that you prepare different surfaces. Maybe for this one, let me also maybe pick this one and change the material. Maybe I'll pick this one and change the, you know, the wall. I want to have maybe the, 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 the different material there. Okay, so I can do that and make sure that you pick all those faces so that it behaves well once you start applying those materials. So I'll just orbit this side and I'll just click there and including this one to make sure that everything is perfect. So I'm happy with what I have and now I'll just close this one. Now let me check to make sure that live sync is on. I think it's still on. Now I'll go back to Lumion just click there as you can see it is perfect 
everything has changed because it was updating automatically as I was adding that. Now you notice that if I want to have wood on this one, for example, you can even see that materials now are highlighting differently. Okay, so if I just try now to go to, I think I want wood. Where is wood? So uh, is it indoor? I think we have some wood there. And depending on what I want, anyway, I'll just apply maybe this one. This is the one that I want. Okay, so I'll just go on the surface and click there. All right, do we have wood there? Let me let me just go to indoor there once again or outdoor. And I want to find the wood once again. Is it this one, the one that I want? Let me try this one. And I want to pick the, this one here. All right, why is it not changing? I think it's, oh yeah, it's changing as you can see. So we have it here and you see if this is the one that I want, I can leave it there as you can see the material is there. Now I can go inside this material and start changing but the whole purpose of this lesson I want to show you how you can prepare the model. Now if you want me to prepare more lessons on how you can start tweaking the materials you know checking all these tools rendering and other things animation please comment there I would be doing these videos one by one but in this lesson I wanted to show you on how you can add these materials on different surfaces so I'll just go there and let me try to add a different material on that one there. Maybe I can even use just a color as paint. I'll just click there. And again, I'm not going to worry so much about the colors. I just want to show you the whole idea of, you know, trying to do this. I can change the color from there. Just click on finish. Try to orbit from here. Let me change. Maybe put some towels on this one here. I can still go to materials and just pick this one, maybe I want some towels there. I can go to, is it indoor? Where are my towels? I can pick that one. And, you know, we have a number of materials. You know, the, the, the library is rich. Maybe let me pick this one for my towels. Let me click there. As you can see, we have the towels right there. Now, what else can I change? I think I'm okay so far with what I have. Okay, so the roof is fine. If I want to change the roof, I can do that. So... This is how you change materials. Now, before I even, uh, let me also add, change one more thing. If I want to change now the materials so that it starts looking better. If I want to go to, for example, these are the towels that I have. Let me just show you some options here. I'll just move it closer there so that you see how you can start changing this. Let me just click there. Maybe let me pick a better. Maybe I want to use this one. Okay, from here, you are going to see what we can do. So if I want to change the, the, the properties, I just need to click there. You see that we have a number of things here, like we have the relief, the reflectivity, the scale. So for the scale, if I just, you know, start moving it like that, you can see that I'm able. So all these materials can be changed. All right, so maybe I'll leave it there. Maybe this is what I want. Then click on finish. I can click on that one, edit it. And if I want to change this one, just double click on it. Then you can see that we have relief reflectivity. I don't want it to be reflective. If you know, I can just remove the reflectivity if I want. Then the scale, I can start changing it. So again, I'll leave it the way it is. Now you notice here that uh, we might have an issue at the end in terms of how this would, because this would actually I think it looks okay. I think I can leave it here. But sometimes if it doesn't match there, with at the edge there, I also want the wood to be seen the curves there. You just have to separate this edge in Revit so that you can apply a different material here, the same material, so that you're able to have the grooves now going all the way down there. So my viewers, this is what I wanted to show you. It's quite a, an important lesson because you need to understand on how to change materials, how to prepare your model in Revit, and make sure that you do it from here. Once you come to once you come to Lumion, you just be applying the materials and picking what you want. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel.